can't open this. Ow. So I was watching this old episode of Catfish last night on Hulu, and apparently people who constantly reapply lip gloss or touch up lip gloss are called glossers. I had no idea that people like myself that is obsessed with lip gloss was called glossers, but you know what? I am a proud glosser. I love lip gloss. I love applying lip gloss. So let me know down in the comments below if you are a proud glosser as well. Hey y'all, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello, if you're new here. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Hannah, and in today's video, we are going to be testing out some new products from Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek was actually founded by the YouTuber on here, Marlena Stairwell, I think is how you correctly pronounce her last name. She used to be called Makeup Geek here on YouTube, and that is kind of like where her brand started, when she started her own brand off of her YouTube channel and she named it Makeup Geek. And this brand actually originally launched in, I think about 2012, maybe 2013, could be very wrong on that. But um, her journey here on YouTube and her journey in the makeup industry is very, very beautiful and very, very inspiring. And she just recently completely redid her line and her brand. And they are now available at Target. Um, I'm going to have a link down below in the description box where y'all can go check out their website and check out the date that they are releasing everything to Target because I really don't remember that date off the top of my head. But they were very sweet enough and kind enough to send me a PR package of some of the goodies that they are launching on their website and in Target and everything. So I'm really excited about this to try out everything. They sent me three lip products and they sent me an eyeshadow palette to test out, which I could not be more thrilled about because if you are very familiar with me and my channel, you know that I love lip products and I love eyeshadow palettes. So let's go ahead and get right on into this review slash first impressions. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be sitting down and playing with all of these goodies today. So we're going to be playing around with some goodies from Makeup Geek. I already did it, my eyebrows and I already primed my eyes with some concealer. Um, So the items that Makeup Geek sent me was just one of their little mini palettes that you can make and customize yourself. And they also sent me some gorgeous eyeshadows to go with the palette. This is a really cool concept because the little single eyeshadows actually magnetize to the palette, meaning that you can take them out and customize them into other palettes if that is what you choose to do. So I think that this is a really cool concept that Makeup Geek is offering now. I don't know if they offered that before, but that is a really cool thing. And then they also sent me three lip products that we're going to be testing out as well. They sent me a lip gloss and then they just sent me some lip cream. So the lip gloss that they sent me, um, this is really, really pretty. And this is in the shade Cream Sickle Delight. And it's just a gorgeous nude color. They know I love my nudes, apparently. And then they also sent me a plush lip cream. This is in the shade Old Soul. And this is just a really pretty mauve color. And then they sent me the, the little lip cream that is a plush matte. And this is in the shade Goody Two Shoes. And that just was like a gorgeous pink color. I also have some eyeliners to play around with today as well. These are not from Makeup Geek. These are from another company that I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name of. But they did email me a couple of days ago. They wanted to send me some eyeliners to review and test out. I'm going to be doing a review on these on my Instagram. I just wanted to talk about these really quickly. So if you would like to see me review and test out these eyeliners, make sure that you are following my Instagram at Beauty with Miss Hannah. It'll be down in the description description box below. Um, they sent me an eyeliner in the shade of black and then they sent me an eyeliner in the shade of brown. These are just gel pencil eyeliners and again like I said don't want to sound like a broken record but if you are really curious about these eyeliners then you're going to have to go onto my Instagram and see me test these out and try them out on there if you want to get my full thoughts and opinions on them. 
So, enough with the chit chat. Let's go ahead and get into this review and first impressions. And let's dig into this little eyeshadow palette because I am just so excited. So, I think the first shade that I'm going to go into is that shade right there. That shade is called Wine and Dine. It is just a gorgeous matte purple shade. And I'm going to be applying that shade into my crease using this tiny little crease brush. So the shade Wine and Dine was really easy to apply. It was very smooth, very buttery, very easy to blend and apply to the crease area. I have absolutely no fallout or patchiness with that eyeshadow whatsoever. It was a very smooth, very matte, very buttery, very easy blendable matte shadow. I am really impressed with that formula. It is really, really good. So now I'm going to be moving on to the lid color because I just really wanted to keep everything simple on the eyes today. So what we're going to do is apply that foiled shadow right there. It is so, so pretty. And when I opened this palette this morning and was figuring out what type of look I really wanted to do with this, and figure out like what shadows I wanted to use in today's video. I knew I wanted to do something with this purple foiled shadow right here. This is in the shade Mystical and it is just so, so pretty. I am just in love with it. So that is the shade that we are going to be applying it to at the lid and to apply that shadow to at the lid, I'm actually just going to be using this little flat shader brush. no issues whatsoever applying the shade at mythical as well i feel like i applied it very very beautifully onto my eye lids i did have to use a packing motion though rather than just kind of like a swiping motion but that's pretty normal for a foiled shadow and i didn't dampen the brush either and i feel like the pigment is very intensified and it is a very beautiful very gorgeous shimmer shade so i really like that shade a lot so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be curling my eyelashes and putting on some mascara so y'all all know that i'm going to be using my elf eyelash curler to curl my lashes and then for mascara i'm going to be using the believe it be the extended lash lengthening mascara i'm back with a fresh face i went did my foundation my concealer powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight off camera. So now it's time to test out these lip products and I'm so excited. So we have two that are these plush formula. We have a plush cream and a plush matte. And then we just have a mini lip gloss. So let's get into trying these two first before we try on the lip gloss. So this is a plush cream. This is in the shade Old Soul. And I'm really excited for this because this looks like a really pretty color. And this is just kind of like a mauve ashy toned shade of like a purple. It's really pretty. And I really like colors like this. I love the packaging. It's just gorgeous. So let's get this tried on. The applicator is a flat sponge tip applicator that is slightly slanted. It doesn't have a scent which is really good. I'm not a big fan of sometimes my lip products having a scent to them. So I'm really happy that this one isn't scented. So let's try this on. And again, this claims to be a cream, meaning that I don't think this is supposed to be a full on matte lip color. I don't think this dries down to your lips. I think that this is just supposed to stay creamy all day. Ooh. That is really, really pretty. Okay. So it's not the best applied on that lip color, but we're just gonna wipe this away in a minute. I actually really like the way that this looks with um, my skin tone. Now it doesn't go with this eye look whatsoever at all, but it still is a really pretty color. And I definitely can see myself wearing this again, just because it is just so, so pretty. Um, 
I definitely see that it does kind of have a sheen to it. So it's not a full on matte. It is very creamy and it is very comfortable to wear. Um, and it kind of feels a little, kind of feels a little moisturized. Not super moisturizing, but it is creamy. So it doesn't feel like it's going to be like super uncomfortable to wear throughout the day. So that was the shade Also. Um, so I really liked that one. Next, we are going to try the shade Goody Two Shoes. Next up is the shade Goody Two Shoes. I have to also quickly mention that I really like the boxes and how everything is packaged. I think it's really pretty. I love the rose gold and then I like how it just kind of like has a little hint of what the lip color is possibly going to look like. And I love the lettering on the box as well. Um, as we all know here on my channel, I'm a huge like sucker for really cute packaging and really pretty packaging and i feel like this box is just really pretty and it really does fit the makeup geek aesthetic so i'm really happy with that and this is what goody tissues looks like again it's a very pretty color but it's not going to go with this eye look today but that's okay we're just trying this on this is kind of like a soft bubblegum pink color that is how i would describe it so let's open it up but first i'm kind of noticing that it's almost like the same size as the lip gloss she's a tiny bit longer but um other than that it's almost like the exact same size which is crazy this one says that it is a plush matte so i'm assuming that this one is going to dry down a little and look matte i also really like that this part right here in the wand is clear i don't know why i just think that's a really cool concept again the applicator is just a flat sponge tip applicator has no scent which i really like still i'm not a huge person that's really big on scents um in my lip products so let's go ahead and get this applied okay this color is gonna be so pretty in the springtime like holy moly that is so pretty Yes, I love that color. That is so pretty. Oh, yes, I love it. It's not too bright of a pink, but it's also not too soft of a pink either. It is just right. Oh, I really like that one. Yes, definitely think that that one's probably my favorite. I'm not normally really into pinks, but that is really pretty. Um, and that is right up my alley. So that one is a definite yes for me. I also really like the shade Old Soul, but this one, this one's my favorite. I really like this one. So this is the shade Goody Two Shoes. Again, if you did not pick up on what shade that I tried on. So next we're going to try the lip gloss. Alright, just a little bit of a fair warning, um, Goody Two Shoes did kind of stain my lips a little bit. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but there's certain parts of my lips that are still a little bit pink, but that's okay. Now we're going to try the lip gloss, and this is in the shade Cream Sickle Delight, and this is just a really pretty nude color. This is probably what I'm going to keep on to today, and then the little wand on this one is actually just white. And the applicator is a kind of teardrop shaped sponge tip. This one, this one has a little bit of a scent to it. I can't quite pick up on what it actually is. And I noticed a little bit while applying Goody Two Shoes, this one kind of had kind of like a very, very light, pretty scent to it. It wasn't really strong, but that's kind of like what I got. Um, I am kind of getting over a little bit of a cold, so my... Sniffer isn't just really smelling all that great, but this one does kind of have a little bit of something to it, but I just couldn't quite put on my finger to it. So let's get into applying this lip gloss.
right, so here is what the shade Creamsicle in the gloss looks like. This is really, really pretty. I really like this a lot because I love my nude lip glosses. This is not sticky whatsoever. It is a very creamy, very moisturizing formula. I love how it kind of gives your lips a nice wet look. It's not super, super glittery either. It just gives your lipstick a really pretty wet look, which I really love. So this by far is also another one of my favorites as well. So with everything that I tried today in this video, I am gonna go out on a limb here and say that if I see any of this in my local Target, I definitely would pick it up and really recommend y'all purchasing some of these items and checking them out. I really loved these little plush lip products. I really liked the matte. I really liked the cream. I really liked the gloss. It is really, really pretty. And by far, my favorite thing to test out today and try out was the eyeshadows and this little palette. Um, I'm going to have a little thing down below, a little link to their website where you can go and check out these products if you want to and go see if you would be interested in purchasing anything yourself because I definitely think you should. Um, I definitely am all about this rebranding. I love the packaging of everything. I love how the palette is also packaged. I like that it's kind of like reflective. It's like really cool and really pretty. So yeah, I really enjoyed it getting this opportunity to review these products. So thank you so much to Makeup Geek for being willing to send me a PR package. That was very, very sweet of you. Um, and I greatly appreciate it. And I wish you all the best of luck with your rebrand and your relaunch because all of these products that I tested out today are incredible and everybody really needs to get on the band live in themselves and really check these products out and purchase them because they're just amazing so yeah thank you all so much for watching this video i greatly appreciate it and give me a big thumbs up down below if you are happy that makeup geek is back and have rebranded themselves and give me a big thumbs up also if you enjoy me and my channel and my videos because that helps me out a lot. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Come and be a part of my handicorns because I post and upload new videos every Thursdays and Saturdays at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Times. And I would absolutely love to have you all come on here and be a part of this and be a part of my channel. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this. And I'll see you all in my next video really, really soon. Bye, my little handicorns.